Hello everyone, my name is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in today's tutorial I'm going to go over how to set up DNS through a Plast control panel. Uh, what I have here is a VPS that I have um, through GoDaddy. Uh, if you have a VPS or a dedicated server, doesn't matter which one. Uh, and if it's even with a different hosting provider, this tutorial will work for you. Uh, my domain is through GoDaddy, while uh, these settings uh, will work with uh, other domain providers. Um, the domain settings uh, might be a little trickier with others, but in most cases you might even have your domain registered with GoDaddy. So what we're going to do here in uh, our Plus Control Panel is we're going to click on the Websites and Domains tab, and then we're going to go on to DNS settings. Click on DNS settings, and then click on Add Record. And for my name server, I'm going to use NS1, and then I'm going to use NS2. If you decide to give your name servers a different name, that's fine. But uh, this is what I'm using because it's easier for me since uh, this is what I usually do. So what I'm going to do is type in NS1 here, and I'm going to paste the IP address. I currently only have one IP address assigned to this server. Um, if you have uh, others, uh, just uh, decide on which uh, IP address you want to use with uh, the domain of your choice. So click on the OK button, and then click on Add Record again. And here I'm going to enter in NS2, and I'm going to paste that same IP address because I'm only going to be using one IP address. Now after you did that, you're going to click on add record again. And now the record type will be NS. And here you're going to type in NS1 or the name server that you chose as the first one. Dot your domain. Uh, in my case it's isaveplaza.com. I'm actually going to copy this because I'm going to need to enter in this information again. And I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click Add Record again, and choose NS again, and I'm going to type in ns2.mydomain. So this is what you're going to want to enter, and click OK. And after you have uh, entered all those records, you're going to click on the Update button here, because if you don't, the changes will not be saved. So click on Update. After you did that, you're going to go to your domain um, control panel here. Uh, for example, I'm here to GoDaddy. Uh, my domain details are right here. And then I'm going to go to where it says host names and I'm going to click on manage. And I'm going to add one right here. And this is going to be NS1. And the IP address that I assigned to that domain and I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to add one more and this is going to be NS2 and again the IP address and then you have to wait a couple of seconds for this information to go uh, through the system because right now if we, we next we're going to have to uh, change the name servers but as you can see we need to wait a few seconds so I'm going to pause this video all right, everyone, so I'm back. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Manage here, where is the name server section. And I'm going to click the custom radio button. And I'm going to enter in my custom name servers. And the first one will be ns1.isaveplaza.com and the second will be ns2.isafeplaza.com Again, so in your case it will be your name server dot your domain dot and the tld the dot com or dot net or dot org or whatever and then the same goes here the second name server dot your domain dot the tld and then click on OK and then once uh, you've uh, reviewed the changes and if everything looks fine, you click on the save button. And then you just wait uh, for uh, 
these uh, changes to take uh, effect and for uh, the domain to resolve, then what you basically do is after a, and while well, GoDaddy says that it can take hours, in most cases it takes minutes, uh, you basically go uh, open up um, your web browser and you type in your domain. And when you type in your domain, uh, you should see your site showing up or uh, if you don't have anything uploaded to your Plask, uh, uh, through your Plask control panel or whatever through your FTP um, client, then uh, you will basically see the Plask uh, page. I'm going to uh, pause this video and actually continue it uh, once uh, the page is ready so that you can see what I mean. Okay everyone, so I tested the domain name and believe it or not, within four minutes it actually uh, resolved through the new to the new name servers. Uh, you can see right here, there's my uh, Parallels Welcome page. So uh, thanks for watching and if interested, uh, visit creatingawebstore.com.